St. Mary's School is 153 years old this year. Uh, founded back when Oregon was the Wild West, just a few years after Oregon got statehood, and has been around educating kids in the valley, and now educating a lot of kids from far outside the valley. So 40% of our student body receives financial aid. That's about 170 students, uh, and every year we give out a million dollars in financial aid to local students. When the economy crashed back in 2007, 2008, we started looking for other students. And at the same time, there was just this burgeoning uh, population of students from China that were looking for places in prep schools in the United States. So we started with a trickle of students from China, just four or five kids, and this grew into a program now where we have 76 foreign students. Part of enrolling a foreign student, uh, the U.S. government requires them to get their F-1 visa, student visa. They have to pay full year tuition up front. So we were getting multiple wire transfers of $50,000 over the summer. And we were banking with a local bank that was just fine, but they didn't have a direct connection to China. For years, I wanted to you know, talk to St. Mary's about banking with U.S. Bank until you know, all the wire transfers, international wires weren't coming in on time, disappeared into cyberspace. And that was when Frank uh, opened up and talked to me. So I met Jerisa a long time ago because I taught Latin to her daughter. And I gave her a call and I also knew that she spoke Chinese. And I said, can you help me out here? Is there any way of establishing a direct connection between like Bank of China and a bank here in town? And she said, well, yeah, of course, US Bank does this. As our Chinese program grew in this international program, uh, combined with really robust fundraising at St. Mary's, we were able to purchase her property in 2015. That was facilitated by US Bank. And the difficult piece there was we had to go to Rome to get the Pope's you know, signature. That was really, really cool. <laughs> After we bought the property, we had really more demand from China than we could meet. And we were housing our students at a dormitory 15 miles off campus that we rented from the local university. But we wanted to build a dormitory here on campus so that we could have the kids here. I know it wasn't something that they wanted to do overnight. It was 20 years in the making. So this construction project wasn't just for the international program. The dorm for the international students is only a third of the project. The STEM Center, Science Technology Engineering Math Center, the cafeteria, the student commons, the extra classrooms, all of this is part of the project. For us, the stars were really aligned. I mean, it, it could have been any country. We tap into China, and for uh, Jerisa uh, to just be so conversant with Chinese culture and language and to understand our customer base. She's fun, she's smart, she gets it, she doesn't waste anybody's time, and uh, she's just been a great fit for St. Mary's.